adding the sewer lines. Um, this year, we're looking at approximately a 15% rate increase plus 14 cents on that. And then we're going to do another rate increase next year with just the 14 cents. We're going to pass it on to you all just like the city of Cookville is going to do with us over a two year period of time instead of hitting you with approximately, when you take our water loss in consideration, the 15% plus the 29 cents coming from Cookville and, giving, and doing it all at a, up front. Um, so this ordinance is written with a increase going into effect August 1 and then a second increase going into effect August 1 of 2012 and that would take care of getting us up to where we need to be to cover our project cost on that project out there plus the increase coming from Cookville. Um, just an example, you're going to take a minimum bill inside city um, and I'm just looking at a minimum bill, which is 2,000 gallons. Right now a person pays 750 for water. You're looking at August 1 it going up to $8.77 and then taking it up to eight ninety one dollars in 2012. Now that's water only. Your sewer would remain at 125% of your water usage inside city. That will not change. But that's just a, that just gives you an idea in the first 2000 minimum bill, you'd be going from 750, which is current, to 877 in August 1, and then of course you'd have your sewer on top of that. So if my math's correct, you're $1.27 on a minimum water bill, mm -hmm. and then $1.51 on a minimum sewer bill, less than $3 increase. Mm -hmm. And then next year it's only pennies, I mean it's... Uh, yes, next year it would just be taking the, the portion from four, the city of, yeah, 14, 14 cents. 14 cents, mm -hmm. that's what it looks yes. like. Um, just to, uh, most, most in this room know, but just to clarify for the public, um, water and sewer operates on an enterprise fund, which means it has to operate as a separate entity from the government, from the local government. It's its own business, and we're state mandated to not lose money. Uh, we have to actually charge cost of services uh, at a minimum over a period of time. So we're... Uh, kind of forced to make this business pay for itself. And uh, as we know, milk and bread goes up over a period of time. Water's not much different. This is a pretty minimal increase. It's been two years since the last increase, correct? correct? Mm -hmm. May of 2009 was the last increase. And we cannot afford to absorb any increases from the city of Cooper. Correct. We cannot. So we're kind of nothing to do with the operation of the city government. It's something separate entity. So. Uh, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 7, City Administrator's Report. Chief. Okay, folks, uh, on our construction projects, uh, we're now ending, nearing the end of the sewer project, which has been a long time coming, and I know the rest of out there is glad to see it complete. We're going to be doing two final inspections, one with the state inspector in the next couple of weeks, and then another one uh, with our city engineer, Jimmy Haley. Uh, we'll come up and do some uh, walkthroughs, and hopefully uh, after those final inspections, we can start getting people hooked up on this. I know a lot of people out there just want to go ahead and move forward with it, and I'm happy to say that's, that's coming soon. The other projects, capital projects we've got going on, uh, again, as I said repeatedly, uh, a lot of these things take time. Uh, the sidewalk project uh, is going to be starting in the next 30 days. I've talked with Matthew Tucker, uh, with Jimmy Haley and Company. Uh, the final paperwork is being done on that, and uh, it probably won't be completed when school starts, but I, I truly believe by fall break, of uh, the school year when the kids are let out for fall break, uh, that project will be behind us. And everything else is uh, seems to be running smooth. Uh, as we discussed the budget. Uh, we've, uh, we've got a balanced budget, and y'all have had the first reading tonight. And we're going to go forward and uh, continue to let the city progress as much as we can. 
uh, the city hall. Uh, uh, city attorney Dunaway has researched and looked and studied over the contracts. Uh, our, our attorney and uh, their attorney has looked it over and have come to agreement, and that's uh, Mayor Fouch has signed that. So hopefully we'll see some groundbreaking over there in the next uh, two to three weeks as well. Again, uh, I know a lot of people are anxious to see these things started uh, as much as we are, but again, you've got to move slowly and diligently to make sure you're doing it right, and that's what we're trying to do. And uh, but hopefully this time next year, or early fall, uh, I'm hoping to have open house in our new facility. <laughs> That's about all I have. All of the departments are running good and smooth. And uh, Mr. Jones, do you have anything that you need to address the council to? Chief uh, Ramsey, do you have anything? Uh, I know that uh, Ms. Larson has some some has received some good news this afternoon from a couple of phone calls. Uh, Ms. Larson, if you want to share that with the council, I'll let you have the floor. Very seldom it seems like you have good news when it's in the sense of revenue. But um, I just would like to share with everybody that uh, our accountant that we have now in there, Marlon Francis, has been done, doing a wonderful job. And in doing some research on some state sales tax, she has found that the city has overpaid uh, back in 2009. And... Um, we will be getting a refund of roughly $11,000 back to the city in some overpaid sales tax. Uh, so that was some good news this afternoon. She was rather happy with her findings. She has been working diligently on trying to balance everything and find refunds. And she has been, found money that's owed to us on Office Max cards and everything. Um, she, she's doing a wonderful job. And then also I received in the mail today, um, we've been kind of watching our business taxes on our business licenses and since the state has taken over. And it's been a confusing process and um, a lot of work to understand how they are paying us and, and what businesses are actually paying and our apportionments. And today I did receive in the mail, um, finally, that we will be getting roughly around 60000 a little over, um, paid to us on the 20th of this month. Um, we felt like it was starting to fall behind a little, and we weren't sure if we, as the city, was getting our portion. And I've been on the phone for many hours, it feels like, with the state, trying to work it out. But this came in the mail today, and I finally feel that maybe our apportionments is finally coming to us with some work and, and uh, working some things out with the state and getting things worked out in an understanding and, and doing some fine-tuning and balancing it. So that's some good news. I feel like we're finally back on track with the, the business tax and getting a refund is, is wonderful. <laughs> Do you have any, anything else to report, Ms. That's Lyons? all. Thank you. Mayor Fouch, uh, that concludes our report. Unless you or the council has any questions or... Well, I just want to say thank you. I've watched from afar as you hassled through this budget process. And, you know, sometimes you've looked at us and said, what well, we need to do? And I said, keep digging. And uh, you've done exactly <laughs> that. And... Uh, I just want to say this is this is both you know, it's your first budget year, and it's uh, I think you put the tools in place now to make the next budget year a lot better process for you. And uh, certainly, I think everybody from the department heads down uh, have a much better understanding of how our money comes in, our money goes out, and how we're spending it, and continue to try to be a good steward of the public's money. So uh, thank you guys for doing that. Thank you, Mayor Files. Appreciate it. Um, any more? Comments? Fantastic job. Fantastic Thank job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll move approval. Let's see. All right, move adjournment. Let's move adjournment. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. <laughs> All in favor. Ah. 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 Motion's adjourned. <laughs>